Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out. be rolling with MJ. We are at our second to last destination in Canada and it's in Whistler. The campground is called uh, Riverside Camping and RV Resort. It's a Park Ridge um, camping uh, campground and it's 50 amp full hookup. We are in H2. We're really not in the main area where all the RVs are. We're near the cabins. Um, right across from the office where I checked in and the playground and volleyball. I'll show you around. Now you can't have open fires here. It's not very big, but it's fine. It's been really, it was really hot when we came in. It's not so bad right now. Comes with a picnic table. You cannot use the fire. You can use a propane fire pit like we do. Uh, there's laundry which I'll probably be doing tomorrow. There is a restaurant. So you can see, oh, they have miniature golf. I'm assuming there's a fee for that because all the places there was. See, there's a cabin. I guess you could rent a cabin and it says cabin slash yurts. There's a few RV sites here where we are. And there's a dump station over here. But I think it's either 30 or 50 amp I think there, there might be all full hookups. Ours is. Glad I have full hookup, especially since it's so hot. It's going to be in the 90s every day we're here. Um, and it's easier for me to be able to cook with my Instant Pot or rice cooker. This is where we came in. I'm looking forward to our next, besides here, Looking forward to our next destination, which is Vancouver. And we're going to be spending eight days there. And my son, we treated my son to come here and visit us in Vancouver. So I'm really excited about that. Haven't seen him in so long. So right over here is the um, office. One of the things that they're stressing about is bears. That bears commonly coming through the campground and that don't leave any food, coolers, um, barbecue, pits, anything outside. If, if you do, that you'll get fined. And I guess if you do it twice, they'll kick you out of the campground. Um, I guess they really they said they're really serious about it because it's a problem. 
the place. Here's the campground map. So we are over, we're over there. And that's the main campground over there. Oh, restaurant menu. Huh. Well, that's nice. So uh, it's uh, Thai food. Here's another, here's another cabins. They're really cute, the cabins, or oh, a whole bunch of them. Nice grass area for the kids to play soccer. So where you check in. And then they have a stool. Ice cream, some ice cream, some essentials. Some things you might need for your RV. Inside there, besides the office, is where the laundry is and the restaurant. So let's go check out the campground main area. The playground is pretty nice for the kids. Big area for them to run around. I wonder how many people actually play volleyball. There's the garbage. First time I've seen Cruise America, I see all the Canada rental uh, RVs. Lots of trees, but not any that's really gonna block you. Hit, you're not gonna hit them. There's to get into uh, the Whistler Village, you just, uh, there's trails, bike trails. I don't know what that is. So that's row B, similar to A. Let's see, this is, must be C. Some of the views must be nice being over here. Definitely like this section, but I'm going to take you all the way down to the end. Uh, it's wider. I definitely like that. Oh, they're all black top, so it's not gravel. Looks like this is the bathroom. Probably bathroom showers. I like it back here. It's a lot cooler over here. This is W. So I wasn't able to pick a site like most of the places I stayed at you pick your site So I would look and try to decide what was the best here They kind of put you in a site. So if I did um, Was I if I was able to pick my own site? I would have picked in this section here. So I guess here's one of the bike tra trails So thankfully Scott got his bike tire fixed we used it yesterday in uh, Hope, um, so which was great. I do like those log cabins. I always like log cabins. I always wanted to have my own log cabin. These are really cute. They look kind of big. Probably fit a lot of people in there. Very nice. I'm almost back at the RV. And the RV to the right is ours. We're back. There's another RV. It's almost like the other yesterday's uh, place, but we do have something in between us. We're going on a bear hunt. I got my binoculars. I don't care. I don't know the rest of the song. Jackson's
We are now at the Whistler Village and it's not that far from Vancouver. It kind of reminds me of like Vail and that kind of thing, Aspen. It's really a great little place to you know, stroll around. And then right on the top is gondolas and there's like a whole bunch of gondolas and chairlifts. When you buy the pass, you just go from one to the other and we're gonna do that on Sunday, my son and I, so I can't wait for that. Hey, hey, it's Melissa. We are at Lost Lake. It's a beach area. It's not far from the Whistler Village and you go swimming. You can hike around the lake and it has some awesome views. Definitely check it out. I wish I put my bathing suit on. It says something about swimmers itch. You might get that in this water. You can see some snowy capped mountains a little bit. Scott found, usually he's lying down, I'm surprised. He loves lying down on the grass on his stomach. I don't know how he does that because if I did that, my back would hurt. How come you're not lying on your stomach? Yeah. Here is Green Lake. It has some great views. It's not far from our campground of the mountains and the green of the lake. Here we are in Windsor on Green Lake. It's Jake with the camera. Getting an early 6.30 to 7 o'clock start Did you say time. Wisner? What did I say? Wiz what is it? Windsor. No, isn't it called Whistler? Oh, Whistler. Sorry. What did I say Windsor? About 7, 7.15. Seven the birthday boy. Let's do it. Look at those shots. <laughs> 